Welcome back to another episode of Streets of My Town. This, um, this time we're going through Brassel. And uh, we'll point out some highlights and some lowlights and some. Yeah, let's just do it, eh? Let's go for a drive. So, up here running a left, we have Brussels State School. It's a rather large primary school. It takes classes from prep to year six. And um, at the time of this, it has about 815 students. So, a large public school, state school. And as we turn the corner here, still with Brussels State School on our left. And if you're a local, you know how much of a nightmare this place is on a school day. The drop-off and pick-up times, absolute lunacy. And on the right-hand side here is Ipswich State High School, which is a huge school, some 1,900 students this time in 2022. So big school there. And this is this is Hunter Street, which is, I guess, unofficially the main street of Brussels, action hub if you will. We've got a 7-Eleven service station on our right here, a Macca's, there's a bakery and a few other bits and bobs in there. Ignore that orange light, I did. Um, on the left here we've got another school, that's a Seventh Day Adventist school. And another service station, and then we've got Brussels Shopping Centre on our left here. So I should just mention Ipswich State High School is a public school. Um, yeah, what else do I say about it? It's yeah, it's a big, it's a big school. It's got a lot of resources too. It's very well resourced and um, very big sporting culture at the school um, with scholarships and that type of thing. Um, very big rugby league school. It's actually my old school many years ago, both of those schools, Brussels State School and Ipswich State High. But we're going back a, a little while now, but anyway. Um, on our right, <coughs> excuse me, is um, Sutton's Park. And Sutton's Park has soccer fields. Um, there's a skate park in there, it's quite a big park, very popular. Um, yeah, there's still a shopping centre on the left there, it's got a Woolies and an Aldi and the like in there. KFC, a bit of Dirty Bird. And we'll chuck a lift at the traffic lights here and um, take you down the back blocks to there's, what's it called? Suncare Lakes, I think it's called, which I assume, I've never really looked into it, is some sort of aged care facility. Um, it's, a, it's rather large and it's a new addition. The shopping centre was there when I was a kid. I should also say I grew up in Brussels for my, my about. 11 I guess we moved to Brussels my family and I and um, and did last year so my primary school and all my high school there and none of this stuff here existed the shopping center did um, I'll run you through some you know later in the video some bits and pieces of how Brussels changed over the years but yeah none of this was here Probably going to be a long video too, guys, because Brussels is a big suburb, and I'm not going to even, you know, show you all of it. I'm just going to touch the outskirts basically and give you an idea of what it's like. If we turn left in here, it's a bit of a, a mix. It's um, no, no, it's not really. It's all older stuff in here. Probably 70s build, apart from that one on the right there, which I think is housing commission units. 
Yeah, I'd say these are all. Yeah. If I was to guess, I'd say seven is build. They were there when I was a kid, so giving away a little bit of my age there. This is currently Chua Street. And we'll go left here because it's the only way we can go. And if we were to go straight ahead for about another 100 metres after this intersection here, you'd come to the Bremer River and the um, the bridge that crosses it there and that's, what's it called on the other side, that wood end I guess, Coal Falls, that area. Here we're going into Sydney Street. Behind the houses on the left is the river, the beautiful Bremer. Look at me, doing the speed limit, very good. Alright, if we were to go straight ahead here, we'd head out to Walkeraka and those suburbs. But we're going to turn right here, because I guess down in that gully you saw ahead there is the border of Brussels and Walkeraka, so technically the end of the suburb there. So we're heading up here, this is Workshop Street I believe. And all to the left here, all this housing is set up in there, the High Street. What would you call it? Western High Street sort of area. That's all 80s build, late 80s. No, probably mid 80s, I guess. And yeah, this is all still older part of Brussels here. And we're going to turn left here, but on our right there, that's the other end of Sutton Park with all the soccer fields and skate park and so forth. So we'll turn left up here. And this is sort of where the old meets the new. Um, still, you're still looking at 70s builds here. But the houses get a bit fancier up here. The Brussels Heights unofficially. And then at the top of this hill here, never existed, well, <laughs> housing never existed, streets never existed, up until about the 2000s. When I was a kid we used to ride bikes and everything down through here, there was dams and yeah, we could fish in the little lakes and all that sort of stuff, but it's all gone now, it's all in the path of the bulldozers. This ends at the um, Ipswich Boys Grammar School, Ovals, which is a prestige school in Ipswich. And um, yeah, they've got their own sporting fields out here in Brussels. They're, the school's actually located in Ipswich itself. Well, probably, I don't know what suburb, on the outskirts of Ipswich anyway, just basically city centre. And um, obviously, no room to develop around here, there, so this is. There's sporting fields out here, which is where this road will end. And I'll do a magnificent three point turn for you all to see. Told you it was spectacular. And I'm not going to bore you with the rest of driving out here. So we'll skip ahead.
right, so now we're going to turn left into Charles Street. That was Workshop Street, by the way, the one we just turned off. I probably didn't mention that before. This is Charles Street down there, here a bit, about halfway along. So there's Brussel Village Nursing Home. Just here on our left. And this vacant land on the corner here, I don't know the story behind it, but it's, um, when I was a kid there was a house there and there was a lady who had chickens, she had mountains of chickens and they were all through the house and um, there was no windows in the house so the chooks just jumped in and out and blah 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 and for whatever reason, I guess for health and safety reasons, they moved her on and they um, bulldozed, the ha bulldozed the house and then they fenced it off and it's hasn't seen anybody since oh, early 90s maybe anyway here we're going into um, little parkland this is when I was a kid it was a quarry and um, yeah now it's parkland it's a rather nice area I'll go for a drive through here and then I'll go for a bit of a walk and tell you some stories. Oh, hang on, hang on, have I got a story? Let's go for a walk. Alrighty, so when I was a kid there was nothing here. This was all bushland. Here you've got cliffs and an old quarry down the bottom there. We'll go down there in a minute and I'll show you what that looks like now. It's actually pretty cool. But um, yeah, there used to be people pushing old car wrecks off here and you know, down into the quarry and blah blah blah. We actually used to climb the cliffs and stuff. If we zoom in right out there, that's Rack Base Amberley. Mount Flinders, I believe it is behind it. And the old Great Dividing Range over there. So, not a bad look out here. Over in there, you can kind of see the phone tower there, but in behind that there's a um, um, water tower, water reservoir thing. You used to be able to climb up on that too, but like everything. Can't anymore, too dangerous. Anyway, we'll go down the bottom there and we'll have a look what it looks like. And they've done a nice job. It's pretty cool. This is what they made it into. You can barely see the cliffs now. Let's we'll go in there and see if we can see them. You can sort of see them there. Doesn't really give much a perspective of what they were like. But, yeah, that's them. Nice little spot here. This is like the, the pit of the quarry where they used to, um, I guess all along here was the quarry and all the car bodies come over the, the top there into here. So it's a pretty rough old place in its day. I'm glad the council's taken an initiative and, um, and done this. It's quite a tranquil little spot. Weddings and stuff down here. Mm. 
Not actually sure what was dug out of the quarry. Um, if I was to guess, I'd say shale, but I have no idea to be honest. So I said tranquil rock. Wow. Any room for a box of chicken wings? that piece of tranquility let's follow the licorice strips out of here And on the right here is the back end of the nursing home, Brussels Village. And on the left, these houses on the left here, though they don't look real flush these days. <coughs> Excuse me, back in my day, that was the flash, flashest part of Brussels. Shows how things have changed. We'll turn right here at the last minute. <laughs> No, we won't. Let's go and turn right at the next one, eh? And this street here is Jellico Street. much to see here but we're here right so have a look And we'll take a left here, this is back onto Workshop Street again. So this is the intersection where we we drove up this hill earlier, put it that way. Hey? And it's the back end of Sutton Park where soccer fields and stuff were. So we'll take a left here <coughs> into Vogel Road. We'll chuck a left into Hague Street. That white car just went into Jellico Street where we just were. We're going to turn right here into Theodore Street. When I 
was a kid that house on your left there and right there used to be the corner store and um, yeah with the building boom in Brussels back in late 80s when I was a teenager there you go some more insight um, you used to be able to collect the old um, glass coke bottles and they were worth 20 cents each so you'd go around the building sites because back then the tradies they were the same as today they had money they didn't care they just disposed of them we'd pick them up take them back to the shop there cash them in for 20 cents and of course the uh, arcade machines there took 20 cent pieces so very convenient many a day spent playing arcade machines there we're back on the Vogel Road now and this is the back end of the high school in our right that's their sporting fields and so forth Alright, we're turning left. And we're going to head up to one of the newer areas of Brussels if we eventually get out of this intersection. Yeah. So on your left here you've got the My High Tavern pub basically. You've got a drive through. At a restaurant, a couple of bars. No, I've got some poker machines. That's about that. Keep heading on up here. Nothing really to report here, so I won't ramble on. I'll just point out stuff as we go, of interest anyway, so. We'll turn left into this little area here. Before our former mayor went to jail on corruption charges, he used to live just up in here. So this is all relatively new, like when I say relatively new, post 2000 anyway. And that little area just to the left there, that's where he used to live, and that, yeah. Some fancy real estate in there, and then we head down here, and eventually, here we go, we're going to turn right here, and pretty much all of this area in here is um, rental properties. There's one rental company that owns a stack of properties in here. And yeah, the other business owns them all and rents them all out, and yeah. So it's without speaking ill of Brussels, because I love Brussels, but it is kind of the hood in here. But like anywhere, you get your good and you get your bad. But as you can see, it's all pretty modern. I should also point out that um, Ipswich has the RAAF base at Amberley and with that comes a lot of, um, for want of a better word, <laughs> I guess, transient um, defence personnel who are always transferred from one base to the other so there's a lot of these guys and girls that um, are in defence rental accommodation in here.
come to this intersection here from memory. Yes, this is. Um, if you know it, you know it. It's Dormantina Boulevard. More glamorous in name than it actually is, but that's just my opinion. Get fire station, fire station on the right there. And we come back out to the main road up here, and if we were to head left, about 100 metres down that way, you'd hit the Warrego Highway. Um, it's basically the main highway east and west out of Brisbane to Toowoomba. And yeah, that's 100 metres down there where you hit the Warrego, is basically the border of Brassel there as well. So that's the, the top end border. Continue down here on our left, that's just all massive housing development down there that's just continuing and it's, yeah, I mean, again, when I was a kid all this was bushland, this road was here, but there was no housing, nothing, this was, this is the bush, I think this is actually a 80 kilometre road, an hour road here, so it was a busy major thoroughfare of the day, almost highway like. And the houses didn't start till, well there was nothing on the right there, and the older houses started on the left here. And then, <coughs> excuse me, it's not COVID, um, the next intersection on our left down here takes you into the whole another new estate in there that when I was a kid it was um, a wrecking yard. So God only knows what the soil quality is like in there, but yeah, this this road here on the left and on the right hand side in there was just a massive wrecking yard. Just yeah. Anyway, they build houses and build houses on it and that's the way it is. So this is we went up this hill before, you're just gonna pass the my high tavern down here on the right again in a moment. back into the school again on the right for these couple of houses here we'll take a lift up here and again this this road was here and these houses along the road were here back when I was a kid but both to the left and the right you've got new housing estates that just went there. It was bushland again. And the road up here sort of swings around to the right, as you can see there. That takes us to the Warrego Highway, so again, the border of Brassel, you can see down there, the major highway, speed camera too. There you go. Some amateur mechanics ahead there. Plenty of them around Ipswich. And there's some older houses in here, and then randomly some brand new stuff. So 
I don't understand if switches town planning I really don't I'll point that out in just a little bit because there's something else that just seems way out of place to me but anyway maybe that's why our mayor's in jail our former mayor put it that way Alright, we'll just cut out the rest of that street because that was a bit boring. And we'll chuck a left here, and this is what I mean about the development, like, on our left down here. Well, on the right there's a park and school, on our left here is Hungry Jacks. Now there's no right turn into Hungry Jacks, it's just a complete, like, the only way you can get there coming from the right is to head all the way. Um, several hundred metres up the road there and try and do a U-turn and come back down and in so it's just ridiculous but anyway there's another older part of Brussels here this is Holt Street which is basically the other end of Hunter Street and a miserable old day out there too by the way isn't it Some newer houses here on your left. So we're gonna turn right here, but if we went straight ahead up there, you got a new housing estate up there, which looks just like all the others. And if you continued along there, you'd hit the highway again. So again, the border of Brussels. This is yeah. If we head straight up this hill here, we would end up hitting the border of Brussels and North Ipswich. But we're not going to, we're going to chuck a right here. I think this is Purcell Street from memory, I can't remember. So, new house there, old houses everywhere else. A bush turkey there. A bush turkey in suburbia. We head down here. Just trying to think ahead of myself here. So what do we got? We got the old church here on your right. And we'll turn left into what I believe is Shelley Street. Please don't quote me on these. Um, I'm just going by memory. And then we'll chuck a left here, and straight ahead of us is Brassel State School. And then we'll chuck another left here, back on to uh, Pine Mountain Road. And there, my friends, you have the highlights of Brassel. Thanks for watching.